Guy the Fourteenth de Laval, François de Montfort Laval, Comte de Laval, Baron de Vitre and of La Roche Bernard, Seigneur of Gavre, of Aquigny, of Tintaniac of Montfort and Gale, of Becquerel, was a French nobleman, known for his account of Joan of Arc. He and his brother André de Layac were simultaneously vassals of the Duke of Brittany and of the King of France. Life Origins He was the son of John de Montfort, called Guy XIII de Laval, and of Anne de Laval. Through his mother he was grandson of Guy XII de Laval and of Jean de Laval, second wife of Constable Bertrand du Guesclin. Jean de Laval ex Isabeau de Tintiniac greater than Jean de Laval ex Bertrand du Guesclin ex Guy XII de Laval greater than Anne de Laval ex Guy XIII de Laval greater than Guy XIV de Laval greater than André de Layac greater than Louis de Laval in 1420. Guy the Fourteenth, only just fourteen years old, was the second person to put his signature to the petition sent to the King of England to demand the release of Arthur, Comte de Richemont, the future constable, who had been a prisoner since the Battle of Agincourt. The Count of Richemont was freed in the September of that year. In 1424, he accompanied Arthur to the brilliant reception he had prepared for Queen Yolanda of Aragon in his Chateau d'Angers. He thus worked to detach the Breton captain from the English and bring about a rapprochement between Brittany and France. Companion of Joan of Arc on 8 June 1429, at Celles en Berry, he rejoined the royal army which reunited Joan of Arc and the Duke of the Lonson to seek the liberation of the Loire Valley after the raising of the Siege of Orleans. He has left, in a letter to his mother, a living portrait of Joan of Arc, of whom he was a fervent admirer. They distinguished themselves at Jarjo, Beaugency, and above all Pate, where he fought in the vanguard. Coronation of Charles VII with his brother André de Layac he followed the sovereign to Reims and assisted at the coronation of Charles VII of France. On 17 July 1429, replacing Philip the Good, Count of Flanders, among the favours distributed by the king on this occasion, the territory of Laval was raised to a county and Guy de Laval was made governor of Lagny in 1430. House of Brittany Joanna of Navarre ex John IV, Duke of Brittany greater than Arthur III, Duke of Brittany greater than John V, Duke of Brittany ex Joan of France greater than Isabel de Britannia ex Guy XIV de Laval greater than Francis I, Duke of Brittany greater than Peter II, Duke of Brittany greater than Giles of Brittany ex Francoise de Dinan ex Henry IV of England on 1 October 1430, at Redon. Guy XIV married Isabel of Brittany, daughter of John VI, Duke of Brittany. He was betrothed, in 1420, to Marguerite of Dreux, Isabel's sister, who had herself been betrothed to Louis III d'Anjou. Duchy of Brittany in 1439, he negotiated the tentative Anglo-French treaty at Gravelines. Guy XIV assisted at Tours, on 14 January 1446, in a notable combat before Charles VII, between the Englishman Jean Challens and Louis du Buil, with the latter being killed, as his ancestors had founded the four canonical prebendaries of Saint Jean de Langeres. It was up to him to provide the residency privileges which they dispensed, as a result of which divine service was no longer assured. Marriage with Françoise de Dinan It is known that after he had, for financial reasons, let his son Guy XV's engagement to Françoise of Dinan drop in 1440, in favour of Giles of Brittany. Guy XIV once again abused the young age of this same son, making him break off another engagement to her, when she became the widow of Giles of Brittany, and engaged him at 45 years old in February 1451 at Vitre, Françoise of Dinan, Baron of Chateaubriant. Guy XIV had no rights on the barony of Chateaubriant. The Vatican archives contain two solicitations to the Holy See on this occasion, by Guy XIV and by his son. The inquiry concerning François Guy de Laval, Phil Saini Acute de Guy, Comte de Laval, 
Seigneur du Gavre dates to 23 July 1450 and is addressed to the Bishop of Nantes. He begged for canonical reasons, for an exemption from parental kinship, and from the ban on marriage between a woman and the father of someone to whom she had previously been engaged, the mandate of dispensation for the marriage of Guy XIV and Françoise of Dinan, said to be of Thouers from her mother's name, and for their absolution from certain bans, is dated 17 December 1450 and addressed to the Bishop of Anne's. The Vatican archives mention once more mention the Comte of Laval and Françoise of Dinan and his wife, in the founding of a sore letter at the Madeleine at Vitre, on 19 May 1453, relationship with Louis XI Charles VI greater than Charles VII greater than Louis XI greater than Jean de France ex John VI. Duke of Brittany greater than Isabella of Brittany ex Guy the 14th de Laval King Louis the 11th established a Cordes Comptes at Laval in 1463. The following year the king authorized his cousin Guy the 14th to add a first quarter of France, then those of Evreux, and those of Vitre. Ross Aleander at the beginning of the 15th century, the Chateau de Camper became the fiefdom of the Laval family. In order to assert better his precedence on the Viscountcy of Rowan to the States of Brittany, Guy XIV de Laval, seigneur of Bros Aleander, pretended, via his parent, to be descended from the ancient kings of Almorica Conan and Pondus. In 1467, he tried to get inserted into the Chartre des Usements de Bracelier, with the object of the seigneurial rights over the inhabitants of the forest, mentioning the jousts of Pondus, making a historical fact of a 14th century fictional romance in the style of the Arthurian legends called Le Roman de Pondus et la Belle Sidoine. He was the Lieutenant General of the Duchy of Brittany in 1472. Comte of Laval Guy XIV de Laval ex Isabelle of Brittany greater than Guy XV de Laval greater than Pierre de Laval greater than Jean de Laval ex René I of Anjou ex Françoise of Dinan Louis XI in 1482, gave full powers to the Comte of Laval, separating it from the main. The Comte of Laval was directly responsible to the Crown of France. He was buried at the Collegial Church of Saint Thugel at Laval. His daughter Jeanne de Laval was the wife of King René I of Anjou. His eldest son, Francis, would be Grand Master of France and Comte of Laval, and one of his cadets Pierre de Laval was Archbishop of Reims. Bibliography Emile Sesbrin, Jean d'Arc et Le Barmain, Extra de la Semaine Religieuse du Diocese de Laval, Laval, Gopal, 1909, 30p, Malcolm Walsby, The Counts of Laval, Culture, Patronage and Religion in 15th and 16th Century France, Source, Jurgen Klotgen, Un Charter Retrovée de Guy XV de Laval, Notice Historique sur les Armoiries de Laval, in Review Historique Archéologique du Maine, T. C. X. L. V. I. 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 Le Mans, 1997p, 209-232. See also, full text from DVD RHAM Review Historique Archéologique du Maine, 1875-2000, copyright by Societe Historique Archéologique du Maine, Le Mans, 2006. Guy the 14th de Laval, in Alphonse Victor Angot, Ferdinand Gauguin, Dictionnaire historique, topographique et biographique de la Mayenne, Gopal, 1900 1910, IV, 528.